Hello, my angels and demons. Heather here. And it is mermaid, which means mermaid drawings. Yes. Oh, do I love mermaids. So, yeah, expect some mermaid speed paint drawings in the future. Now, this is a drawing of my little sister, and she loves mermaids, too. So, I'm actually going to tell a story that me and my little sister were a part of. Well, she was there. Da, da, da. Okay. Yeah, I'm going to tell a story about an experience me and my sister had. And it's a doozy, so yeah get ready okay so if you guys want to check out my sister's channel she's lilypad191 so go check her out she does like mainly vlog videos so yeah that sort of thing okay on to the story so this story took place last year in the summer and this was again this is this was a complete nightmare. Okay, so I had the day off, and there was this event going on the same day, and my little sister wanted me to take her, and I figured, eh, I could use a trip to the mall. Okay, let's go. And what was this event, you ask? It was build a bear, pay your age. Yep, that nightmare. Uh. Okay, so when we the day of this event, they opened an hour early. Me and her did not know this, so we left a half an hour before it was supposed to open. So that way, actually, no, we left an hour before it was supposed to open, so we can get in line right at a few minutes before it opened. Needless to say. When we got there, the line was really long, like several yards long. Just, whoa. It stretched out to the outside picnic area. It, yeah, it, this whole line stretched out to the outside fountains of the mall. So it was that long. Just, and right when we got in line, we just barely made it right when me and my sister get in line they cut off the line yeah they weren't gonna let anyone else in the line it was that long so because of how hot it was that day and that we were outside i had to go get my sister a dr pepper to drink to keep herself cool well i went and did some errands i went to all the stores in the mall and a few of the shops around the mall like Barnes and Nobles and uh, secondhand game shop to get the stuff I needed and also to get some stuff that I wanted to get. No big deal. I figure since I was there and I don't really go out there as often. In fact, I rarely go that far now just just because I think it's a I don't want to waste my money going to the mall. So yeah, I had fun time spending like two hours shopping and by the time I had finished shopping my little sister just got inside yeah we were about to have a very long wait ahead of us because I did not know how long of a wait this was gonna be I didn't bring anything I was not prepared at all if I knew how long it was gonna be I would have brought more than just my phone and my earbuds. I would have brought in like those external batteries that you can plug into your phone to charge. No, I don't think it's an external battery. You guys get what I mean. It's a battery you plug into your phone to charge it when you can't find a freaking outlet. So, yeah. I would have brought that because, man, my phone was dead by the end of the day. And I had to get us lunch and, I think, dinner at the food court because of how long we were there. Just, there were some people who were wise. Some people actually brought chairs. And I'm all like, dang, you people are prepared. My, I did not bring any chairs. So I was sitting on the floor for several hours. 
my butt was insanely sore after that. Just, oh my goodness. It probably fell asleep for many hours because of that. Just, uh, this day. Every time I think about this day, I just groan. It was that bad. And by the time all the other locations were closing their shops and canceling event, this event, this store didn't. They were open the whole day. But by the time that all the other locations were doing this, this store decided to hand out vouchers. Now, these vouchers made it so that way you get $15 off your bear, which I can understand that some people were still not moving after getting these cards because most of these people, this is in Utah, people, and there are a bunch of itty-bitty kids in Utah. So... Oh, a lot of parents just were not moving because they know they would get that bear for five bucks for their kids if they stayed. Just, they're willing to get anything. My sister, though, wanted a Pacific bear. She wanted the Pikachu. And, ah, that, she was not going to get it, man. She just, she didn't get it. But I kept telling her. This was when she was 12, and with the voucher, she would actually be saving a dollar if we just left then and there and used the voucher later. But nope, she chose to stay there because she wanted to get her Pikachu. And we left empty-handed because they ran out of Pikachus. When we're leaving with the vouchers, I give her this stare that clearly says I am done because at that point it was like 8 o'clock and we've been there since I believe 10 like 9 or 10 so we were there for like 10 hours around, roughly around that so I was just done okay she was just scared she was scared that I was giving her this look I'm giving her this look, and I say we should have left hours ago. Yeah, that that was a waste of my day off. But everyone laughed when I told them at work the next day. Uh-huh. At least someone got a kick out of it. Hopefully you guys will, too. But that wasn't the worst of it. Around an hour after me and Lillian had our lunch was when we met an entitled parent yep that's right this is my own entitled parent story the reason why i haven't posted it on reddit yet is because well why post it on reddit and you get like a lot of likes and comments and stuff like that when you can post it on youtube and you could get a lot of views possibly Ugh. i don't know okay so, this woman comes by, and like I said at the beginning, when we got in the line, they cut off the line. And this was hours after they cut off the line. And this woman, with three of her kids, comes up and tries to get in the line. Now, they have an employee at the end of the line, so that way no other people will get into the line. He stops her and goes, sorry, ma'am, the line's closed. And she's like, are you kidding me? Just, yeah. And he goes, I'm not kidding with you, ma'am. We closed the line. And she's like, come on, can't you let a few other people in? I'm sorry, ma'am, I can't. I And if I did, I would not guarantee that you guys would get a bear. You gotta be kidding me. You just now closed the line right before we get here? That's discrimination. Ma'am. I closed the line an hour after we opened because of how many people we got. It wasn't, this didn't just happen and we didn't just do it because you showed up. And she's screaming, you gotta be beeping, kidding me. I came here to get a good bear from my kids, so you better move the beep out of the way and let me in, you son of a beep. Yeah. Just, 
a lot of parents were giving her a look of what? Seriously? Again, this is Utah, and this is where a lot of Mormons are. LDS, people from the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints people. So, all of these people do not like that kind of language. I don't like that kind of language. So, everyone's looking at this girl, and everyone's looking at the employee, and some people are actually telling the employees in the front to do something about this woman because she's disturbing the peace. Security did come by and have her leave. I actually saw a news reporter late come in later. Wonder if they were just here for the event or because of the scene the lady caused. I don't know. Probably both! <laughs> but still, though, me, I don't like confrontation. Com- what? Da, 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 da. Confrontation. So I did not say anything, but boy, if she were to show up of two hours late, two up two hours late later, or sometime after that, and she was given me given that a kind of attitude, or if she was given me attitude, you betcha I would be all like, listen, lady, I got here when I thought this place was open, and I just barely made it and i have been here for several hours and the only reason why i am still here is because the person i am here taking this event to who i am their ride is a stubborn ox i am not gonna deal with you and also could you please hold your tongue i am at least holding my tongue, despite the anger I have. So, please, do us all a favor and hold your tongue. I do not care if you use that kind of language in your home. That is your business. But you shouldn't use that kind of language in public when there are other people's children here because they most likely have not heard such language. So, do not expose them to that am i clear yeah that's that's what i would have said because oh my gosh it was just plain ridiculous but i didn't say anything because she wasn't bothering me i was tired not that tired but still tired and did not want to bother just yeah if she did mess with me or was there a few hours later when i was at my breaking point then oh dear security probably would have had to take me along too probably would have had to take me out too at least i didn't and i can still go to that mall to this day yay no regrets because i was civil build a bear if anyone who works for build a bear at all is watching this don't do this event again it was a nightmare it who on earth Were you guys kidding me? Were you idiots who thought this was a good idea? Okay, my angels and demons. That was my story of my experience at Build-A-Bear's Price is Your Age thing. (laughs) We did use the vouchers to get the Build-A-Bear's that Lillian wanted. I didn't use a voucher. I gave it to my sister Erica who actually saved more money than she would have if she were there because she's older than Lillian. And she got a toothless plush. It was great. And we actually got... We went there when they restocked. And there were still... And it was still busy. Not as busy as it was during the Price Your Age thing, but it was busy with people who were coming to get their vouchers. Luckily, we came there early and we figured, we don't have time for this. We... We went in there just to purchase the skins, left, and because the same day my brother was coming home from his his mission, so we got the skins so we could just get get out of there, and we came back later to when it was more calmer to stuff them. Yeah, that's how you do it, people. That's how you do it. So, yeah, just, just don't bother with Build a Bear unless... Unless they're older kids, that's when they'll actually appreciate the bears. And also, it will be worth the money, because I 
of film, little, little kids are going to just end up destroying them later in life. Well, <laughs> okay, that's my story. Have a good day, and may angels be with you.